what's up everyone and welcome to your 16th javascript tutorial in this tutorial we'll be looking at something we call static methods and properties in javascript in the last few tutorials we learned about what the prototypal inheritance model in javascript is and how does it work and what are the benefits of prototypes and how do you inherit the properties and methods of one constructor function into another and like that in the last tutorial we learned about private and public methods and properties in the constructor function of javascript but in this tutorial we'll be learning a simple and interesting concept which is actually based on the prototype chain model which is static methods and properties in javascript to understand this first of all let's write a constructor function and let's name it my function and let's create two properties or maybe just one and in the next method let's return the square of this number okay and down here let's create a object of this constructor function now in previous tutorials what we used to do is supposingly if I want to add any new property or method to this function so what we did is like we do object dot abc then we console log isn't it it returns me hundred don't no need to check it now previously we used to do this or we also did like this my function dot prototype dot abc equals uh, let's say 200 then also it will echo or it will just print out 100 because it in the prototype chain the object dot abc property is much closer to the object object obj object than the my function prototype dot abc so this method right here is closer to this property is closer to this object therefore it doesn't go up in the prototype chain to look for this however if we remove this then object obj.abc would echo out 200 what if we don't include the word prototype what happens if we just simply write my function dot def is equal to 300 now what is happening here let's see if we console log this object dot def let's see what echoes on the or outputs on the browser and as you can see the second one echoes as undefined but why it is like undefined why does the keyword prototype makes a different if you know right now if you have guessed how it how uh, and why this is echo uh, echoing or printing undefined then i'm pretty sure that you are clear with the basics of prototype uh, uh, prototypal inheritance in javascript but don't worry if you are not clear or don't know why it echoed undefined again while echoed basically undefined instead of 300 then don't worry I'll show you right here let's give this black color new layer and yes we're good to go okay so okay good now what's happening here is in this code first of all we are using my function prototype dot abc now what happens here is this is okay. this is my function my function constructor function and let's say this is a constructor function and when we do this my function dot prototype dot abc 
so what happens is supposedly this is the prototypal shell of this object with various objects in between for instance the first one being function itself I like that so when we do my function dot prototype dot ABC what happens is this constructor function adds the property ABC to this prototype shape so when we do like my function dot prototype dot ABC this says okay I have got a prototype chain till object and let me add this anywhere in this prototype chain so it creates a property ABC right here ABC and sets it equal to 200 200 okay so just like any other public property created with the, this keyword we can now access this ABC property with the help of any of the objects or instances created of this constructor function for now we have I guess OBJ now when we create object function then as usual when we do OBJ.ABC then first of all it locates this ABG ABC property within itself and it says no I don't have this property so what it does is it goes to the constructor function and constructor function looks in the prototype chain its own prototype chain and found finds the ABC property and returns it to the object and object then finally console logs it but what here what's happening here my function dot def now when we call something like this then what happens is this def variable is created local to uh, this constructor function okay so it is similar like creating var def here it's just the same thing so this def here created def here created is a static method basically you do you cannot call it as a private method because it cannot be accessed in where in this constructor function it is a static method which is not linked into this prototype chain this this uh, property is not linked into the prototype chain therefore when object goes to the constructor function and constructor functions looks into the prototype chain it does not found find this object it does not find this object until object and object actually then returns null then null is passed all over this on basically undefined then undefined is passed all over the prototype chain until the object console logs the undefined so how do I access this uh, this property basically to access static properties we have to type the method name itself for example the method name right now is my function so when we type the method name itself then we can actually use this static property if we try to console log now let's see as you can see 300 prints out so to access static property we have to call the property with the method name itself now this property cannot be actually inherited by any new other created objects for example if we create another object with object 2 let's say new new my function still still this property would be undefined because it is a static property only bind to the constructor function so I hope this tutorial is clear for static properties and methods similarly just like you create static properties like this you can also create static methods like supplying a function 
I hope you got me so similarly you can create static methods as well so I hope this tutorial is clear about static properties and methods in the JavaScript object constructor functions and using the prototype chain so in the upcoming tutorial I guess I'll be finishing off this advanced JavaScript 10 tutorial series and we'll be starting with some really cool effects and what you say modifying DOM and using basically JavaScript to show user interfa uh, interface and programming web and all that interesting stuff. So don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching my tutorial.